Hey guys, it is Jennifer and I am excited to share with you guys my November 2020 fortune cookie soap. This theme, this theme has got me in the feels. It is through the wardrobe, so I think this is going to be a Chronicles of Narnia. Let's tear into this box. <laughs> Okay, so apt that I'm in front of my Disney years as this was a Disney production, but before that even I've read all the books and I love them. So this is $16.95 a month and includes shipping and you get a box every month and every so often they're themed boxes, which it looks like this one is going to be a themed box. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. So here are the scents that are included in here. Oh, I'm so excited. If you were any braver, you'd be a lioness. That is the sticker. Oh, I just love Narnia. I love this. It's Christmas. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited. I haven't done much yet. I have to do some decorating this weekend. I'll be honest, I dread it a little bit because I already feel a little bit overwhelmed. So let's pull out the first thing. So this is a shower steamer. Um, so this you put in your shower and the, the hot water steams a nice nice aromatic smell into your shower. So this is called Deep Magic. And it says there is a magic deeper still that goes back before the dawn of time. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna end up crying doing an unboxing with skincare products. Ugh. This scent will restore your life with a revitalizing blend of rosemary, fresh garden herbs, and revitalizing mint. Even the white witch could not stake her claim on this deep magic. I'm seriously getting emotional. Uh, it smells good. It smells clean. It does have an herby fragrance. So if that's not your thing, you might not like it, but I think it smells really good. So I really like that. All right. So going to grab the next product now. The next product is called Lion's Breath, and this is a body frosting. And it says, uh, wrong will be right when this comes in sight. Be rejuvenated by the true king himself with fresh and invigorating scents of glistening winter frost and fur needles dripping with the sweet nectar of ripened pomegranates. Your senses will feel alive again as every last drop of this fragrance graces your skin. Now, I don't know who writes these for them. Obviously, someone in the company, but man, they're doing a good job because that sounds amazing. I do love the body frosting. If you shave your legs, when you get out and you put this on, it melts into the skin. I mean, melts. Oh my gosh, it smells like Christmas and joy and all things happy. I'm, I'm really fighting back tears because this is just so nostalgic for me. And ugh, I love Narnia. Like, I cannot watch Narnia without crying. It smells so so good okay so this is the the body the body frosting and it is literally it looks like cake frosting but i'm telling you when you put it in you can already sort of see it turning to an oil like it just dissolves it literally melts into your skin it is more kind of like crisco in uh in how it behaves because it, it just melts into the most amazing soft and it's not like oily it's soft it soaks into the skin if you need moisture it's really good Oh, so glad to get a hand sanitizer. I think I can speak for everyone when I say you can't have enough of these right now. And their OCD hand sanitizer is really good. And this one is called Small Favors. It doesn't take a lot to unwind and relax. Only warm honey with a hint of the professor's tobacco pipe brightened by spiced citrus slices. Wow, that smells, that sounds like it smells really homey. Just, the problem is I'm going to like have all these fragrances on me and not be able to tell what from what anymore. It's got a little bit of glitter. I don't know if you're gonna, you'll never be able to see this. Nope, never. But it's got some little tiny glitter in this hand sanitizer, which just like completely dissolves away. I don't know, you'll never be able to see it, but it is so Christmassy and just amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Oh my gosh, that smells, that really reminds me of Christmas in England. Um, if you're new to my channel, my husband's from England and we go every other Christmas. We were supposed to go this year, but obviously that did not happen because of things obviously going on in the world. And uh, they eat a lot of fruit. They, they have a lot of mulled wine and they eat a lot of like what we would call fruit cake. But, and I know I have a couple of British uh, subscribers, so you guys are gonna be cracking up when you hear this. But they also have like mince pie, 
and their Christmas pudding, and it's got like dried bits of fruit in it. And here in the US, unless you're a, a fruitcake fan, it is never something, it's really heavy and dense, and it's got sort of this rich, fruity, not incredibly sweet flavor. It is very uh, un-American, but it's very British, and it's good, it really is good. It, I, I don't prefer it, I prefer our chocolate fudge and pounds of sugar and icing and all things yum. Um, but my husband doesn't prefer those things. He thinks that what we eat is just too sickly sweet. But that's what that smell reminds me of. It's got like that that heavy mulled wine and like orangey and just Christmas and, and England feel to it. Really makes me sad that we are not going to get to go. All right, so next we have Father Christmas Room Spray. And this says, he's come at last. The witch may have kept him out for a long time, but he has come at long last. With a chilly blast of winter air blowing through blue juniper brush, dusted with frosty snow, and hints of ice vanilla cupcakes. Seriously, who is writing this stuff? It is so good. Wow. That is so nice. That literally smells like cupcakes. And now I want cupcakes. I'm, I'm putting this everywhere. This is a room spray. My husband doesn't know it yet, but our entire house is going to smell like this. Let's talk about my hair for a second. You guys remember I got bangs cut. So this is those bangs growing out. And this is just the awkwardness of bangs. You have nothing to do, um, but try to like blend them into your hair, which my hair, I slept on it last night without drying it. So that's not happening so well, or you just have to let it hang. But this is the awkwardness of regrowth stage. So hoping it gets a little bit longer. It looks a little bit less awkward. So just addressing that because you'll probably see that in every video and think, gosh, what is up with that? All right. So the next one is called even the trees. And this is a perfume oil. I love their perfume oil. They're just, they're super amazing. And Ooh, did I even read this? Okay, so the woods are full of her spies. Even some of the trees are on her side, but with toasted vanilla bean and sweet cream melted by the smoky heat of birchwood and sandalwood, you should make it through unharmed. So this is going to be a woodsy, I think, with vanilla. This is me putting a ton of perfume oil on right now. Are we rolling? Yeah, it's rolling. Oh. I definitely smell the smokiness. That's very interesting. Mm. That's good. So here's a question that I have to you out there that know more about uh, fortune cookie soap and oils than I do. Can I put the perfume oil in like an oil burner and burn some of it to get some fragrance? Um, I don't know if I if that would be okay with every perfume or absolutely no ever. But if you could let me know, I'd be very interested because this would be a smell that would be really good like wafting through my house. All right, finally, because this is a special themed edition, we do actually get a fortune cookie soap, which I always love because they're just fun. And this one is called The White Witch because of course it is. And it says, come, we have work to do. Silver apples, icy pine needles, and the tree of youth set the scene for a chilly walk in the forest. Now, not only do they smell amazing, but it's the way they look that is going to be extra. So I expect no less of this one. So let's see what we're working with here. Ooh, gosh, that smell is really good. What is it that I'm picking like that major hit? It's the icy pine needles and apples. Ooh, that smells amazing. And yeah, I would expect no less. This one doesn't have any things coming out of it or anything like that but what it does have is i hope this is going to pick up on camera it has this amazing glitter see if i can get a bit closer it looks like snow this looks like snow let me turn my my light off and see if that will help there you go yeah look at that gorgeous so it literally looks like snow but it's not a fortune cookie soap unless you read your fortune so let me see if i can get it without breaking it this is always the challenge there we go. Ooh, love that. Okay, so my fortune is, at the sound of his roar, arrows will be no more. So love that. Love Aslan. Love Narnia. This may be, dare I say it, this may be my favorite fortune cookie soap box I've ever gotten because it hits me right here. I just want to go watch Narnia now and cry like a baby. So I love this box. Super happy with everything that I got. The smells are so festive and holiday and amazing. 
and it's just, it's all the goods. So if you've gotten this box, let me know if you are just totally going berserk over Narnia like I am right now, or let me know what you thought of the products uh, and how you're liking this box. Where do you go from here? All right, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, and if I don't get a chance to say it before then, which hopefully I'll have a video next week, but happy Thanksgiving to all my fellow Americans. Bye.